Welcome to Lanyap, a program about issues, events, and people. I'm Corey Crow. I'm joined today by Kara Etienne. She's the OUD Prevention Manager at the Northeast Delta Human Services Authority. Kara, thanks for being with us today on Lanyap. It's really good to have you with us today. And I uh, want to ask, before we get going, uh, I think it says it in your name, you're the Prevention Manager, but what is OUD? Opioid use disorder. So opioid disorders, and uh, we find more and more folks struggling with drugs and drug-related problems every day, don't we? Yes, we do. We do, Um, especially with the influx of fentanyl into our state and communities and across our country. So fentanyl is also in the class of opioids. Tell me a little bit about um, the event you've got coming up. It is a celebration recovery day. And um, what are we celebrating recovery from? We are celebrating recovery from substance use disorder, um, especially since I am the OUD prevention manager, um, opioid use disorder, but also um, individuals who suffer or have a diagnosis of uh, mental health. We are wanting to create this event um, as a part of National Recovery Month to show individuals that recovery is possible. And when we say recovery, we mean living um, happy, productive, day-to-day lives just as any other person. So you've planned a fun day of events, and uh, where are you guys going to be meeting up? We're going to be at Forsyth Park here in Monroe at the stage area. So Forsyth Park, uh, and that's coming up 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., Friday, September 15th. Talk to me a little bit about the day. What uh, is going to be happening on Recovery Day? What do you have planned? So we have um, a very fun field day planned. We are going to hear stories of individuals who are um, living in recovery, um, stories from individuals who have started their recovery journey. And then we're also going to hear from people who are providing treatment day-to-day to to individuals, um, whether it's, like I said, substance use disorder or mental health. Um, And that's going to be a small portion, and very important, but small, because we're also going to have SNAS band performing. We're going to have a DJ, food, crafts, fun. And then we're going to have focus groups, because we want to know from the community what it takes to build a stronger recovery community so that individuals can thrive and live to their full human potential. Now, I know there are folks uh, struggling with substances. Uh, You guys also work a lot in the mental health realm. Yes. Um, Those folks are invited as well, right? Yes, we want them to come out because they're just as equally important. And also a lot of times you may find individuals who suffer from a comorbidity. Um, That means that they have both substance use disorder as well as um, a mental health diagnosis um, as well. And so that kind of interchanges, but Everyone is welcome. And even if you don't suffer from it, if you are someone that can empathize with individuals who have those disorders, um, come out and help us to um, celebrate, show them love, and show them that they have all the support that they need right here in Northeast Louisiana. The uh, event that you guys are doing, September 15th, Recovery Day, is part of a, a national effort. Tell me a little bit about that. Yes. So the national effort is, I think it's been celebrated over 20 years now. Um, SAMHSA um, has um, organized this um, Faces and Voices of Recovery is a large part of it Um, and it's a nationwide celebration that all throughout the month of September anywhere you go in the country you will find someone in some way that we are hoping to build strong communities. So that's coming up. Uh, Recovery Day is September 15th, Forsyth Park, 10 till 2. And uh, you've got a lot of other things going on. Now, I saw something in the uh, news. I was watching TV the other (laughs) night, Mm -hmm. and uh, it brought me back to my days in South Louisiana. We had a vending machine, Mm -hmm. and it was next to the boat launch, and it had crickets and it had minnows, and it had corks, and everything you needed to go fishing. Mm -hmm. Uh, And I thought, well, that's the most novel vending machine I've ever seen, Mm because it had everything you needed for fishing. 
You guys have maybe a cooler vending machine than that. Yes, we have what's called a harm reduction vending machine, and we have stocked it with items that we feel like um, a person who has substance use disorder is in need of everything that they need in order to um, protect themselves and prevent um, at-risk um, behaviors or prevent them from com- com- contracting communicable diseases and different things of that. So it has Narcan and fentanyl test strips in it as well. Now, where's this vending machine located? It is located at our peer center um, on Adams Street um, here in Monroe. Um, Anyone can access it anytime, Monday through Friday from 9 to 3 p.m. We do have more coming, though, so be on the lookout. Now, is it the kind of thing that it's just open and it's out there and you can come any time of day, or do you have to come into the center and see someone before you get to use the machine? You come into the center between 9 and 3, Monday through Friday. They're going to give you an access code to use it, um, but it costs nothing. Um, if all you want to do is use the vending machine, that's all you have to do. You have a unique code that's for you to be able to access it. Well, that's a pretty neat uh, thing you guys have going on there. Um, I want to ask you about, uh, let's get back to the recovery day. You said you're going to have vendors. Are you still looking for folks to come help you out? Yes, we have 20 spots available for vendors. Um, Those are individuals who are working or can provide a service um, to individuals with substance use or mental health disorder. All they have to do is go to our Eventbrite, N-E-D-H-S-A Recovery, 2023.eventbrite.com to register um, as a vendor, and it costs nothing nothing for them to register. Kara Etienne, our guest on Lanyap today, we're talking about the Recovery Day celebration. And Kara, for folks to find out more, where do they go to learn more about uh, what's going on at the Northeast Delta HSA and about Recovery Day? They can go to any of our social media pages, um, Northeast Delta Human Services Authority. They can go to the Eventbrite that I just said, NEDHSA Recovery 2023.eventbrite.com, um, or they can stop by any of our offices at any time. Again, this event is free for anyone that is participating, no cost to the public. And lots going on. Again, the SNAS band, DJ Crafts, Foods. Uh, You'll have folks talking about recovery, and it'll be a fun day full of uh, vendors and a lot of action at Forsyth Park, September 15th. Yes, tents and fans also, and water. (laughs) You're listening to Lanyap. To find out about this and other Lanyaps, be sure and visit our website at KEDM.org.